reminds me of the next one. And I want to know how many of you scored the highest in the G category. Let's see the G people. Look at thousands of hands. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's have you stand. I want to really honor you. Look at the G people over here. Okay. okay. Now, before you sit down, before you sit down, let me just talk about them for a second. You're looking at the most sensitive people on earth. These are the people that have stamped on their forehead, I won't hurt you. You know, I won't, I won't say mean things to you. These are the sensitive, like the nerve endings. These are the people who uh, avoid confrontation. They, they enjoy routine. They're very loyal. If you marry one, they won't leave you. I mean, you can almost be, you know, unfortunately, I mean, they're the hardest ones to leave us. Uh, if we marry them because they stick to things forever. They, they're the warm and relational ones. They're the ones that buy the cards. Uh, they're the ones that are thoughtful. I mean, it, it goes on and on. They're the nurturing ones. These are, the, as I mentioned, these are the nerve endings of our society. So um, we already applauded for you. We could do it again, but I just want to appreciate you. So go ahead and be seated. Are you doing good? Hey, hey, I'm an otter. We didn't get clapped for twice. Golden Retrievers. But now what happens, even though they're wonderful people, has anybody ever told you how wonderful you are because you're an otter? I mean, because you're a Golden Retriever? <laughs> see, th this is a Golden Retriever. And this is that dog, you know, that when you see it, it's just loving and it's got eyes that are kind and they just, you know, come right over to you and, you know, and they just, they love us. And so that's why we came up with that word. It doesn't mean you're a dog. Uh, it means you're a very loving person, very sensitive, wonderful people. Well, it, what happens if you have too much of this? What happens if, uh, if uh, you scored up near 40 on this particular range? And you can look at it and see if you did. Now, here's some of the problems. You're so sensitive you can be very easily hurt. And there's nothing on earth that I know of that's more stubborn than an offended golden retriever. <laughs> I mean, you dig your heels into the ground and no one moves you. Is that true? Yes. We find that uh, one of my good friends has a, a son that, I mean, you could see he was a golden tree right from the very beginning, but when he was six years old, he was out in the street with a carrot trying to revive a dead squirrel. <laughs> and he was saying, here, squirrel, you'll be okay here. The thing was dead in the street. So they... It's amazing. And my, one of my uh, wife's uh, favorite singers is uh, Marie Osmond. And so we, were, we had the opportunity a few weeks ago to go to her concert. She had a two-hour concert in, in, in an area near her home. And, and uh, so we got tickets. We were on the third row on the aisle. And I'm an otter. I like her, too. And I like change and variety. And uh, my wife has a lot of golden retriever in her. So she's very loyal, very sensitive. So at about five minutes left of the program, I could tell we were winding down. I looked at my watch. It was supposed to be over 10, so it was about you know, 10 or 5 to 10. And I thought, we could leave early and beat all the crowd going out and the traffic. I'm thinking this because variety, love variety. And so I, I pull on her, 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 shirt, her blouse and I said, uh, hey, Norm, uh, hey, why don't we leave early, okay? It's dark in here, the stage is lit up, and we could sneak out and beat the traffic. What do you think? She says, no. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, no? I mean, it's so, it's so uh, logical just to get out early. It's dark in here. And I, I'm pulling on her, you know, I'm saying, come on, let's go. She says, no. I said, why? She said, it would embarrass her. Huh? <laughs> it's dark out here. She has all these spotlights on her. She can't see. No, she's been looking at me, and she likes me. <laughs> is that not true? Is that, is that not true of a golden retriever thinking that just because she smiled and looked at her a few times, uh, whether she could see us or not, I'm not really sure, but I, I waited. We were the last ones to get out. And <laughs> You know, as an otter, I was attacking her all the way up the, the aisle, you know, <laughs> under pressure. <clears throat> anyway, golden retrievers, um, they, because they're so loyal and do not like change, it takes her sometimes a month to do something spontaneous. Whereas, whereas I love to be spontaneous. Now, she's getting more otter all the time, but uh, that, that can happen. Here's an interesting thing about, uh, about golden retrievers. They, they can't say no. It's very difficult. 
and we even encourage you to practice from time to time to look in the mirror and just say, no, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm sorry, I'm not able to do that. It's very hard for some golden retrievers that they have too much to make a decision. They're a little bit indecisive. And that's one of the reasons two golden retrievers usually don't marry, because they can't decide. <laughs> Let's marry in July. No, whenever you want to marry. No, I, I want to marry when you want to marry. Or will they say, uh, uh, if you have a family and let's, one of them is a golden retriever, say, well, where do you want to go to dinner? Well, wherever you want to go to dinner. No, no, really, seriously, where do you want to go to dinner? No, no, really, it's where you want to go to dinner. And then they usually have a lion child who says, hey, get this car moving. And then they're done. Okay, and they just obey That's exactly what happens. Golden retrievers. A uh, couple years ago, my son Michael, uh, who's a uh, university student, was uh, chosen from his fraternity to be in a boxing match. And they get in the ring for three minutes. And if they can stay in, they win a big prize for their fraternity. And when he told me, I thought it was great. <laughs> hey. But because mom's sensitivity level and nurturing capacity is so deep, as soon as she heard about it, she went, ugh. And just a heaviness came over her instantly. Because one of our friends told her that, she, he, uh, he said, Norma, do you know what they do? Some, these guys know how to box in the ring. And sometimes they knock these guys over the ropes and onto the ground. They really hurt these people. And I'm sort of saying, ooh, what a challenge. <laughs> and Norma's going, oh, really? Oh. You know, well, now, here's a very interesting thing about golden retrievers is you're married to one. And that is that they feel so deeply about things that, that sometimes it can wreck or no, not wreck, but weaken our relationship in certain areas for, for two or three days because they bring everything home. And it's like they are the ones that are going to go in the boxing ring. It's like even getting ready for some of these uh, sessions, my wife takes on all the pressure that she feels that I have. And she's not even doing this, but they have the capacity to feel deeply with people around them. And we're going to find that with them because that's how sensitive they are. Wonderful. I remember the time that because Carrie has quite a bit of, of golden retriever in her, and Greg, I was teaching Greg how to ride his first bike, and I'd taken the training wheels off. And as an honored father, it was a pretty exciting day. First day for my son to ride his bike without training wheels. And I said, Greg, just we had a cul-de-sac uh, street, so no traffic on it. And I said, just, you can do it. So I ran along with him, and he was doing it. I said, you want to try it by yourself? He said, yeah, Dad. So he got down a little ways, and he started coming, and he fell over right in the street. And when I saw it, I went, whoa. And I thought to myself, this is probably too much, Otter, but I thought, first accident on his bicycle, I had to have a picture. So <laughs> I run towards the house to get my camera, my movie camera, and Carrie screaming, at, Dad, Dad, where are you going? I'm going to get the camera. She said, that's terrible. We can't leave your son on the street injured and go get a camera. I said, oh, you're right, Carrie. So I went back out and comforted. But see, I'm capable of doing something else because it's a, it's a first time. It's a special occasion. And I can see your husband doing something like that someday. So anyway, well, that's um, Golden Retrievers.